Hello, and welcome back to Gallery C. I'm Charlene Newsom, the owner. I have a special guest today for this little curator talk. Her name is Anne Demain, and she is the daughter-in-law of the well-known early 20th century painter, Harry Demain. Harry's only child, Bob, lived and worked in Chapel Hill until we lost him in 2020. I've enjoyed working for he and Anne, representing the estate for a number of years. Here she joins us to tell us a bit about this great artist's life. Anne, where did Harry paint the works in this exhibit? While the settings of these watercolors are in Gloucester and Cape Ann, he actually painted them in his New York home studio during the winter. Based on smaller paintings, he was able to paint on site during the summer. Bob told me Harry frequently took his paints and easels out in the morning, often with a student. He broke for lunch and then hiked out again in the afternoon to paint a second watercolor. According to a Washington Post review, Harry Demain transferred to America the lyrical quality of the English landscape. How exactly did he get to America? That's an interesting story. At the start of World War I, he joined the American Field Service. Now at the same time, Lucy McDonald from Gloucester was working for the AFS. She came to the Paris headquarters in 1918. At the end of the war, Harry jumped at the chance to come to the U.S. and get involved in the American art world. He and Lucy re-met on the street in New York City and married in 1928. What are your personal memories of your highly regarded father-in-law? Unfortunately, I never knew him, but I did know his wife, Lucy. I give her a great deal of credit for Harry being able to continue his career as an artist. Selling paintings in the 1930s was a real struggle. However, Lucy managed to have regular work, which allowed Harry to continue his art career and to go to Gloucester to paint from June to October. In 1950, Harry and Lucy were finally able to purchase a small cottage in East Gloucester. I love the seascapes that Harry painted from these rocks. He had an uncanny ability to capture the water moving and crashing against the rocks in all kinds of 